God bless you, social media. I wanted to talk with you just for a few minutes on this Sunday morning uh, about overcoming a tough financial season, overcoming a tough financial season. No matter who you are, unless you were born with a silver spoon all the way in your mouth and you had born into a family of nobility, family of wealth, everybody else most times will encounter a tough financial season. Uh, it's a time where uh, dollars are challenged. It's a time where bills are intimidating. It, it's a time where it seems like you can't get any financial momentum. But and overcoming a tough, perhaps it's a season predicated by a job layoff. We're live, living in a time now where retail has just been bombarded. Retail as we know it is being crushed. So when you see all of this mention of this store closing or Lifeway closing or Kmart closing, well, every time one of these big entities closes, uh, people are affected. That was someone's livelihood. That was somebody's sustenance. So, so folks, you know, a tough financial season can come your way, not just because you're a bad steward. It can come your way because something happened. You, you, you've been thrust in it, into it. Perhaps someone was driving your car and they hit someone else and then all of a sudden here comes the losses. All of a sudden you were fine, you were hunky-dory, everything was going right and then a tough season sprung on you. Uh, or, or there's a death in the family and all of a sudden you discover you thought that baby sister or brother had life insurance and now all of a sudden you hear that they had been living without life insurance and all of a sudden you have the expenses of a funeral uh, without charge and, and you want to give honor to your loved one and then all of a sudden you have to wreck your finances for what they didn't do. Folks, a tough financial season can come all of our way. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, there are some things that we do do to ourselves. Perhaps we got overloaded on bills. Perhaps we were so busy keeping up with the Joneses and the Smiths that we bought what we didn't need or we overbought and overcharged. Perhaps we've been going to Vegas and going to Dubai and going all over the place while we haven't been, while those bills were stacking up and now we're in a financial mess because we've spent a good season keeping up. Well, I didn't come to put a melancholy chip on your shoulder. I just wanted to know that all of us, however they may come, may encounter a tough financial season. The first thing that you need to know about dealing with a tough financial season is it's just a season. Folks, don't make any wild plays. Don't go and find out where your gun is and want to do this. It's amazing sometimes that there are suicides contributed to financial distress where if the person had just looked, that season was going to change on the next day. Uh, uh, something was looming. A blessing was right around the corner. So, folks, that's the first thing you have to say to yourself that whatever this tough financial season that you may be in, it's just a season. Don't let a season rob you of your destiny. Don't let one bad season get you off track and off course. So it's just a season. The next thing is, some of the financial messes that we're in, they didn't come overnight. They came in a process of time. So if it took you some time to get in it, Stop trying to get out of it overnight. Sometimes you got to whittle out of a season, sometimes little by little, sometimes brick by brick, sometimes, God bless you, Sister Pierce, that sometimes dollar by dollar, sometimes everything, because if it took you time to get into most of these financial, financially tough seasons, it's going to take time to get out. Stop trying to get out lightning rod. That's when, you know, all of a sudden you want to go and become a street pharmacist, and you know a street pharmacist 
businesses, ain't nothing that you've ever known. And all of a sudden you want to find out how to do a hustle and hustling was never made for you. Folks, just don't, 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 don't. I know you're in a panic and the bill collectors are calling and, and, and the bills are coming in the door and the mailman say, is this you? <laughs> you know, folks, look, but, but you can't fight. You can't come out of some of these messes overnight. Sometimes you got to trust God uh, little by little in the process of time. Uh, and, and I promise you can attack any season. Like I said from the outset, it's just a season. Folks, this financial winter that you may be, be in could be just as a prelude to this awesome springtime of financial blessing that God's about to give you. So, folks, it takes time. you got to trust God in providence. I mean, some people are thrust into a tough financial season through no fault of their own. Your employer left. They left you hanging, didn't even give you the last paycheck. And here you are with this bill, that bill, this bill, that bill. You already were living check to check. You already were living direct deposit to direct deposit. And now they're gone. But, folks, we got to go back to believing that God is our provider. Every job that I've ever had that, that, that was lost, I, I thought that that was the end of my world. But that was the end of my resource there. It was not the end of my source. God will provide. I've seen God provide when, when, when in, in financial storms and when, when employment wasn't available, that somebody comes up, the Lord just led me to give you this. Folks, you got to remember that God is your source. Your job may be a great resource. Your Fortune 500, your one that you get your products. So I work at so and so. I'm an analyst with so and so. But you got to remember at the end of the day that God is our source. God will provide. That God can uh, turn, uh, you know, take your little bit and still sustain you. You know, folks. You know, you know. Every day, sometimes you gotta wake up trusting God. You know, uh, you know, he, as He daily loads you with benefits. And, and I'm speaking this word to somebody because somebody's going through a financial uh, draw, drought or financial uh, disarray or some uh, uh, some uh, deficit at this particular moment. Don't push the panic button. It's just a season. Right around the corner, God can have blessings. Right around the corner, God can sustain. Right around the corner, God can bless you beyond your wildest dreams. So folks, don't, don't wave the white flag. Don't throw in the towel. Don't weary in well-doing. You can overcome this financial season. You can't skip steps. You won't come through it overnight. It's going to take time. Here a little, there a little. In the process of time. So, folks, look, I'm telling you that God has shown you enough. If you're, I'm five decades plus old. 